Hello, and welcome to the Dr. Guitar YouTube channel. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. I'd greatly appreciate your support. Thanks. Here's the short intro. Let's learn how to play the short intro. It starts off with this little A minor shape. It gets slid up two frets. Pluck the first string, pluck that note again, slide back to an A minor, and then open second and third string. Let's learn how to play part 1A. It starts off with an A minor shape and two bass notes on the fifth string. Then a sequence of pull-offs on the second string. From the third fret to first fret to open string. You pluck the third string, pluck the first fret of the second string with the bass note A, and then you play the third string again. And then, then you slide up from the second fret, fourth string to the fourth fret. Third string open, two bass notes. Then there's this cool fourth slide to open. Sounds like this. Let's learn how to play part 1A A. It sounds exactly the same as part 1A. Here's a really cool chordal bluesy sequence they do that's in sixth. It starts with an A minor shape with the C and the bass arpeggiated. And then it goes to an E7. And here we'll alternate bass note six string. Slide up. Hammer that E7 back on. And then a G chord with a ninth. Pull it off. Here's the part A slow practice loop. Here's part AA practice loop. play part 2 A B. It starts off exactly the same as part 2 A. And here we're going to add in the A minor shape on the 4th and 3rd fret. And there's going to be a, a nice little arpeggio sequence that's done here, which goes 3rd strings, 4th 
first string, fifth string, second string, then third string, second string, fifth fret, pull it off to the third fret, third string again, and then a cool strumming pattern happens here with your pinky on the fifth fret of the first string. Strum, take your pinky off, strum, and then 12th fret harmonic. And you can dig into the strum here and get almost like a percussive effect. It sounds like this. Here's part A, B, practice loop. Let's learn how to play part three, A, C. Starts off with the standard A minor chord with our second string pull off sequence. And here we're gonna do a hammer on sequence starting on the fifth fret of the fifth string. It's a D chord shape to a C chord shape. Here's part A, C practice loop. Let's learn how to play part 4 AD. It starts off just like every other one, but we're going to change the last bass note to the third string open instead. And then it goes to a G bass note with a descending A minor scale. Then it goes to that A minor shape with the pull off sequence and the second string, but we have a F sharp in the bass this time. third string open, and then it goes to an E7 chord in sixths. Here's part AD practice loop. Here's how to play the outro. Starts on the sixth fret of the second string with the fourth string open. It's nice to add a little vibrato there. And 
then five, six, five, hammered on, pull off, open second string. Then there's a cool campanella sequence here. Do mi re, which is just a scale using cross strings. And then it ends on an arpeggio of an E. G sharp, E. Here's the outro practice loop. <laughs>